Hello! This video tutorial will show you how you can schedule a meeting with any meeting. To schedule a webinar to occur at some time in the future, just start here by pressing the appropriately named Schedule a Webinar button on My Webinars page of your account manager. Now I'm at the Send Invites page. This page sets up the vital statistics of the webinar. We can put in the name of the meeting here, so let's just put in Test Meeting for now. Now here, you set the time, date, duration, and time zone. It's important to note that when you set up a time to start and a duration, that these actually have no mechanical impact on the meeting whatsoever. The meeting only begins when you begin it, and the meeting ends when you end it. This time and duration are just for you and your attendees to know about how long you're going to run the meeting for and when it starts. Now here, you can put in the email addresses of the attendees you plan on inviting. Now you don't actually have to invite anybody right at the time of scheduling, or through our system at all. You can skip this step if you aren't ready to send your invites out. Up here, you can select a past meeting to just copy its attendance list. Right here, we put in our email subject line and message that we're going to include in any invites that we're going to be sending through our system. I'll just go ahead and type in, join my webinar. Now here you choose how you plan to broadcast your audio during the webinar. You can either use your computer microphone and all attendees will hear you out of their computer speakers, or you can use the toll conferencing call number that we provide, and all attendees will need to call into that number. If you use the mic and speakers option, you can now even show web camera video. Now no matter which you pick, it's not locked in. If you change your mind, you can do either one still in the live meeting. We'll just select use computer mic and speakers. And finally, we decide whether this is a public meeting or not. If so, it will appear on your public profile, which we'll show you in another tutorial. It will also put out a post on your Facebook and Twitter feeds, announcing the meeting, if you've tied your profile into your Facebook and Twitter accounts. Now that we successfully set up the meeting, we can either press this button to schedule it now, and immediately send out any invites that we've put in emails for, or we can press the Next button to set up a registration survey form. More information about these forms will be available in a later tutorial. Congratulations, you now know everything you need to know to schedule a meeting with any meeting.